today we are going to discuss one of the you know clinical importance clinical related case in dogs you know, crypto arcadism you know crypto or if if you are a veterinarian especially on any pets clinic you will see so many cases of crypto arcadism in dogs especially so we are specifically going to understand what is this and how this is happening in dogs and what factors are involved in this you're getting my point number one you know crypto arcadism you can call it as what un decent testis you can call it testis so what does it mean something is related to what decent of testis you're getting my point something is related to descent of as simply first you must understand what is the descent of testis quickly then you can understand what is the crypto arcadism in dog that's clear for the descent of testis i can tell you normally this two diagrams you know is are helpful to understand what is the descent of testis normally during embryonic life at the day of 23 to 24 okay 23 to 24 in dogs we are giving only focus to the dogs so during embryonic life embryonic development after fertilization day 23 to 24 a structure appears in the abdomen which is known as genital ridge which is known as from genital ridge we have the formation of what testis formation this is actually happening here within abdomen within the here this is the kidney you know in this diagram on that level you know here we have what testis this structure is showing like this so development of the testis is occurring the formation is occurring on the lumbar level on the lumbar area near the kidneys or you can say below the kidneys so on the day 25 the formation of testis is complete from the genital ridge from the on the day of 29 after this formation this formation is occurring here okay formation is occurring here in that moment on that point in other sense like this what really happened on the day of 29 after the formation of testis on the day of 42 after 42 there is the procedure which is known as descent of testis start descent of testis have two phase transabdominal phase inguinal scrotal phase the transabdominal phase the transabdominal phase start on which day on 42 in dogs this transabdominal uh, phase start what really happening here this testis will move descent there is many hormone many structures are involved we are not going to give focus them this te testis move from that site of development towards the scrotum towards the like here you can say this the position of scrotum but what really happen in transabdominal phase testis actually travel from where site of development to the up to the inguinal canal up to the if this is the inguinal canal here let's suppose we are drawing this like this if this here is the inguinal canal it's not actually inguinal canal may be here so testis will movement from site of development up to the inguinal canal is known as transabdominal phase is known as point to remember here this start on on the day of 42 but this continue and finish near the time of birth in dog near the time of what does it mean after the birth or in puppy male puppy you will find what test is not in scrotum that's it but on the top of inguinal canal on the top of after parturition after parturition we have what 
start of inguinoscrotal phase start of this is important especially maybe day 4 to 5 after after parturition this is written here dpp what does it mean day postpartum day postpartum mean day after parturition day after parturition 4 to 5 you are getting my point listen again carefully we have two phase transseptal phase start during the embryonic life during the gestation period on day 24 it's 42 it's continue up to parturition it's continue up to after parturition on baby you will see you have testes not in, in the case of dog you will have testes not in scrotum but in top of the in guanicular or near to in guanicular canal after parturition animal or dog will do in at the start of in guanicular scrotal phase after 4 to 5 day testes will move into in guanicular canal and go up to the scrotum go up to the scrotum so this you know completion of descent of testes in dog may take 2 months after parturition or specifically 35 to 45 days you're getting my point point is that what really happened think you need to understand two things we are talking descent of testes in dog two things are important one this is a normal pathway two phase abdominal phase or inguinal phase testes develop in first phase they will go to the inguinal canal and parturition will occur and after parturition it will may take one month or two months testes from inguinal canal through inguinal canal go to the scrotal may take two months you are getting my point this is a how normally descent of testes is occurring in the dog and this is the normal pathway from site of development to the inguinal canal from inguinal canal to the that is the normal pathway you are getting my point Today, actually, we want to discuss, want to discuss crypto arcadism. This is our core topic. So, what is a crypto arcadism? This is a condition. If this procedure failed, the descent of testes failed. Test what will happen? Testes will retain in abdomen. Testes will retain in abdomen if the descent is failed. So, undescent testes. You will observe a dog and you will find there is a no testis in the scrotum. You are getting my point. That condition is called undecent testis are called as crypto arcadism. But you know being a veterinarian one thing is much important. Some dog owners do not have any knowledge. After the birth of puppy of one month they will visit your clinic. And ask in the scrotum of dog we do not find testis. This is normal. Up to two months, you are getting my point? If there is a no test in the scrotum, up to two months, that is normal. Because here you know it takes one month or two months to completion of the descent of testes after parturation. So you do not need anything to do. So if this is a condition, this happens, people, you know, dog owners or pets owners do not have so much knowledge. But crypto arcadism, if you go in detail, you know it's can be occur unilateral it can be occur unilateral or bilateral you know this diagram look here for example if you this view this is the normal position of descent test it should be in scrotum but if it don't descend there is the crypto arcadism they may be stay here they may be stay here on the abnormal position this is abnormal position. But there is two different kind of conditions of crypto, tridism, arcadism. What really happened? We have pair of testes. If only one testis, only one testis descent and one don't. This is this is known as what? Unilateral crypto arcadism. This is known as unilateral crypto arcadism. If both testes retain in the abdomen and do not descend this will be known as what bilateral crypto arcadism you are getting my point and other important things you need to understand there is a term which is known as 
ectopic testis this is important what really happen in some cases this crypto organism means what and this fail to descend into the scrotum but what really happen when you observe maybe you can palpate you may find testis may be retain into the inguinal canal may be retain on the top of inguinal canal what does it mean it mean they are stuck in the normal pathway they are stuck in the normal pathway that is if, if that is the story you will call this is a crypto organism you will call this is a but in some cases what really happen they forgot his pathway they forgot his they instead going to in guanal canal they may be go to an other area the other pubic area or maybe in the femoral area if they go any other pathway this is a normal they have to go this pathway okay normal to go scrotum but if they stuck in the normal pathway okay this is a crypto organism they are on right pathway but they are fail to descend but an other condition which is known as ectopic testis what really happen they are not even retain inside but also they forget the normal pathway this is a severe condition they may lead go to the pubic area maybe go to the femoral area and descend there instead of descend in scrotum these are two this is also two different condition ectopic testis and crypto getting my point okay you know this dog have high tendency of the crypto organism some species of the dogs are much uh, you know show the crypto organism people who are working on the pet screening maybe in the week this in every week they have observed this the case of crypto organism but you for a veterinary you need to keep in mind few things which are much important number 1 if you have the case of crypto organism you know let's first look what cause crypto organism you know there is no exact cause but there may be the failure in any uh, structures or failure of any other associated factors and an important things this problem is inherited this is the this have a heredity effect it can transfer from parents to the offspring this is a problem so for a veterinarian if there is first you have some case of crypto organism come to you first you must look for age up to 2 month of age of puppy it's normal it stayed normally the completion of the test is number one thing is that number two is that even you in the dog, in the case of death you can wait up to the 6 month you can wait up to the 6 month you can wait and you just palpate and push test is you can palpate test is you know you may not on normal position maybe test is is here okay alongside the inguinal canal or this the penis side of this you can palpate you can push you know normally after the after 10 days after 50 days push slightly maybe up to the 6 month test is normally descend in dogs but you know what really happen if the problem is that if you are the, the pet owner he wants that this dog is a stud dog which dog you know stud dog I mean a dog he is using for breeding he is using for breeding purpose so for breeding purpose you cannot wait up to 6 month you cannot wait up to 6 month you have to do some surgery or an other way to uh, you know the uh, finish this problem you're getting my point another important thing is that what if you have the case of crypto organism and the dog is not even not even a stud dog what will you do you wait up to 6 month but would did not find testis in the scrotum up to after the 6 month they are retain inside the abdominal cavity or in somewhere in in guanal canal what will you do you will do a surgical procedure which is known as the neutering which is known as neutering. what really happen what does it mean it's mean simply remove the testis remove the surgical removal of the testis this is what surgical removal of the and other important thing is that there is something which you need to understand if there is the 
especially if there is a bilateral cryptocurrentism or cryptism what really happened the the spermatogenesis is not proper you will have not a good quality of sperm even not a good uh, and you also do not have you know what does it mean sperm count is less sperm count is so due to the bilateral cryptotile that dog is what infertile in fertile in unilateral cases in not all cases in unilateral 50% cases maybe dog is fertile because the single testicle which is decent in scrotum he is still producing normal sperm with the normal sperm count you are getting my point this this thing is also important when you are discussing this crypto organism because fertility is after all is something is important that's clear and other important thing is that related to this crypto archetypism you need to keep in mind this is a factor sometimes owners may want to delay up to 6 months maybe they are agree and maybe veterinarian also want let's wait in depending on the heredity of that dog we can wait up to 6 months but there is a one problem because what really happen if this uh, test is still remain inside Still remain undecent after six months of the age. What will happen in human beings and in dog? There is a chance of the cancer. There is the yes, neoplasm. What we can say a cancer which are related to the testes. So that is the reason. If animal is unable to the decent the testes, it's better you will remove surgical testes to avoid the further. complication specially to avoid the chance of cancer so getting my point that's clear that's all about you know crypto archetypism is what test is failed to descent test is failed to descent and this condition is very common in dogs you may observe so what will you have to do you must have the knowledge of the time period and how the normally test is descent what you can do wait for up to 6 months okay normally it will take 2 months to descent after parturition wait up to the 6 months after parturition in dog but if there is no result test is still remain on descent go for surgery go for the surgical removal of the the only solution people are using you know hormonal therapy and other therapy for the descent of test is no way but it is also expensive and not too much affected that's clear especially the owner who are using dog with dog or stud dog for breeding purpose they are more curious they they really want they their dog do not have this problem that's clear thank you very much